Well, I expect most of you know by now that the school up in Yorkshire is being besieged by protesters. The media claim are parents, but to be honest, I don't really care who they are. The whole thing is complete nonsense and actually comes back to years of weakness by the government when it comes to free speech and of course their fantasy dream world which panders to outrage mobs by bowing down to them. Politicians preach tolerance, but only tolerance from everyone else so some minority is not offended somewhere on Twitter. This is of course foolish beyond belief. It would be like me going to Saudi Arabia, Japan, Kenya or somewhere like that and expecting them to make their society how I feel it should be, instead of me being expected to respect their customs and cultures which is obviously the way it should be. I would literally have no right to moan about what their culture does in its homeland and their governments would rightly defend their customs against my attacks as would the people. Shit, I would expect them to because they likely love their country and if they don't they bloody well should. This should also be true here, but of course it's not. We have traitorous tosspot politicians on all sides putting their agenda before the country and its people, a media actively brainwashing any sheeple that will listen to them, and an education system riddled with Marxist propaganda. As I've said before, we live in a clown country run by some of the scummiest snivelling shit weasels humanity has shat out in its history. They should all literally be sent to the tower for their treachery, but at least on this occasion I have to say the government has actually come out in support of the school for now. Of course, they could flip-flop, it is the government we are talking about. Naturally, Labour probably won't come out against these teachers, but I doubt that will surprise many of you. It's actually funny though how they can oppose the Tories on some bullshit like this, but not when they were given the opportunity to stop the Tories restricting our lives for the next six months. Meaning obviously the Tories are bad, but Labour show every day they are the septic spots on the arse of humanity and a bunch of weapons-grade fuckpigs. Now as you also likely know, this started over a teacher showing a picture in class that has offended someone somewhere and then a social media campaign follows which leads to a bunch of protesters standing outside the school. And as I said, it is claimed that they are parents, but knowing social media spawned protests like I do, that does not mean it is true. What we do know is true though is the fact that the school has now closed thanks to the protest that the police seem to be allowing to happen. Funny that really, considering the police's actions against lockdown protesters over recent months. It actually makes me wonder what other stuff Yorkshire police let certain groups get away with up there. How many grooming gangs have they swept under the carpet that we don't know about yet I wonder. Because as we do know already they did it for 10 years if I remember right. But how many other skeletons hide in their classified for the sake of diversity closet? This is something I want to know. Because I have to say this two tier policing shown here outside the school does not exactly give me confidence in their impartiality depending on of course who they are dealing with at the time. But yet again this is not a surprise to me and it's likely not a surprise to you. I would say the police have shown themselves to be mostly incompetent tosspots with very few decent officers left at this point. It is actually a shame because while I've had my run-ins with the law there was always respect. Not anymore though and stories like this only reinforce that. But away from the actual police's actions here in relation to protests, we do have the teacher himself who has received death threats and is now being hidden by the old bill once again thanks to our governments over the past few decades being a weak bunch of snivelling shit weasels not worth a wet wank on a Sunday morning. At the end of the day, it all boils down to them, their policies and their treachery against this country. Now as it stands, that is all I have for you on this, but I will keep an eye on the story and hopefully the teacher and his young family are safe and he knows that the majority of the public stand with him. I certainly do.